Man, I was watching this episode of Million Dollars Worth the Game with Casanet, and I saw him say this, and it was kind of interesting. Y'all check it out real quick. So, uh, when I was growing up and stuff like that, the street aspect, and I had a lot of people in the streets around me, it just never caught my attention. And not my brothers, not my sister, like we were just never caught up in like wanting to be in a gang or wanting to go outside or be on the block. And I think the reasoning for that, and it saves, and, I, and, and it saves a lot of people, bro, video games, like, Low key, I was in the crib just gaming, bro. I was yeah. playing video games all day, watching YouTube. I grew up watching. I'm running home to watch my favorite YouTuber's video. You feel what I'm saying? Or or or, or seeing when the next game coming out. And I was just in my house, just playing the game all day. I did not want to go outside. You feel what I'm saying? And um, I just like playing video games. And just never, I just never had a a thing for being on the block or nothing. Like I just never had that. Like an urge to want to go outside and be outside. I was just always an inside type of person, and I still am till this day. Like now, after watching him say that, hey, I say hey, maybe we gotta be not so quick to um, tell these kids jump off their game, get off their phone, don't be so stuck on that and stuff like that. Because uh, you know we all say it because I come from the generation I played outside. I like to play outside. I used to love to play outside. Like you know that was fun to me. I used to be out there riding my bike, making uh, clubhouses and stuff like that, like doing all type of outside activities. Um, and I began encouraging my son, hey, get off the game, go outside, stuff, which he plays sports and everything like that. But you know, um, sometimes like, man, you just stuck on that game like that, which I know all of us parents are dealing with that here in this day and age. But maybe we need to give him a little bit of a break and, um, you know, give some weight to what these games could be providing an alternative to. That's what I would say. Like, you know, to where I, I understand about the socialization of the kids and, you know, what we're dealing with as far as, um, you know, them being so stuck on the phone they can't socialize and stuff like that. But, hey, that's on us to deal with. I'm just looking at how these young dudes said video games kept them out of trouble and it kept them locked in to... Um, you know, it, it gave him a positive outlet. And like, you know, to where he translated some video games into a multi, multi-million dollar contract. So like he's successful now. So like I said, um, maybe we gotta approach this thing a different way.